so we are going to check what is uh, available with ansys 2023 uh, the system requirements and high uh, hpc parallel uh, parallel license which will be available at the same time we'll see what is included in 2023 whether the files of 2022 version opens in 2023 or not so this also will check at the end uh, in addition to that we also check uh, one of the file whether the user interface is same or different uh, with the 2022 release one uh, release two and release one So welcome you all. Ansys has released uh, 2023 release one for this year. So let's check it. Ansys student version download. So go to the official website of Ansys. You can uh, check out. So go to the free student version. So you can see the option download Ansys 20 student 2023 release one. So the license which is available is 31. Uh, first 2024 so this will be available uh, let's see the what is the requirements uh, installation process steps so you have to have uh, the specific requirement for your computer either with uh, we can say the file which we are downloading and it should uh, be matched to your system requirement so whatever the system requirements are there that we can see windows 10 uh, is what is necessary and then you say processor that is required as a workstation class minimum 4 GB of RAM is required then uh, 25 GB of hard disk space uh, is required uh, the C drive uh, should be definitely present over there graphics card driver uh, professional workstation class 3D so minimum hardware requirements uh, CPU you can say 2.0 gigahertz so it is required minimum 8 gb of ram a graphics card a dedicated nvidia graphics card quadro recommended so if it is you are having quadro it will be better option at least 4 gb of video ram uh, is required on the gpu uh, or we can say the 8 gb is preferred uh, so these are some uh, specific requirements so these are regarding the download speed another thing so ansys hpc high performance computing so what is this high performance computing uh, when you start setup in ansys uh, workbench so that time it asks for number of processes so the number of processes that can be run by the computer it will be decided based upon uh, how much uh, cores your uh, student version support so you can see over here it supports up to four cores Earlier, later in 2018-19, uh, it was supporting somewhere around 8 cores, but ANSYS has stopped, uh, we can say, supporting um, that many number of cores right now. It is just limited to 4. Now, let's see the problem size limit. What is the problem size? Okay, so no geometry export has been specified. Structural uh, physics, it was the same as the one which was with the previous version, that is 1,28,000 nodes. Then fluid physics, uh, again, it is 5,12,000 nodes. So that is uh, the same as no much changes as far as the previous versions have been concerned. Okay, so this is uh, ANSYS pay use. Uh, it has some addition. Uh, license duration, it can be renewable for one year. And see what's included. So we have ANSYS workbench. So that is the basic part which is included. Then ANSYS multiphysics, mechanical. Then uh, we have uh, discovery, spios, uh, then forte, then CFD post, so the many of the things are actually been involved um, over here so one thing which is ansys design modeler that is is required okay so so design modeler has been there uh, space claim it's uh, okay okay space claim is also there so various things which was uh, there in the earlier also they are same as present here so geometry import this is one uh, the prior release is also been available if somebody wants to download that prior release you can also go on to do the same so what to be done what to be done first is you have to uninstall the previous version of ansys if it is installed on your computer and then you can proceed with the uh, we can say the next part so i just click on workbench 2022 you can just check it out here so i will click on this as uninstall because i need to install the newer version of it so that need to be uninstalled when we are proceeding it but before first i will try to download it the file and then 
once the download has been completed we'll go for the uninstallation option which has been available so quickly uh, click on the download ansys student 2023 release one over here okay so it takes somewhere around 21 minutes so we'll check we'll wait once uh, this download has been completed after the download we'll go on to install the same yeah. so that we'll wait for some time so the file size is around 11.3 uh, GB so uh, with this still we have some 11 minutes are left so we'll check out once this is completed and then we'll go on to extract the file which is there so around one minute has been left so around 11 gb has been completed its uh, total file size is 11.3 uh, with the previous version it was around 9.7 gb so once that file is uh, download is completed we need to extract that file and then uh, we have to go for the setup so uh, you can keep 2022 version also but uh, preferably we'll uninstall the 2022 version and then we will install the 2023 version so almost 20 seconds are left so the file size is quite bigger so after extracting it might go uh, somewhat increase the size also so it almost uh, we have completed you can see on the screen it's 11.3 gb of 11.3 gb six seconds are left so i think it's completed okay so the file is completed you can go here and open the file uh, location so you can see the file it is a zip file you need to extract that file i will extract this file here itself so you, i have the older file also that is ansys 2022 release one uh, release two sorry that is 9 gb so now it is uh, this 2023 it is around 11.3 gb so i will extract this file here so it will create a s one more folder exactly adjacent to this you can see the time required uh, see adjacent to this we have 2023 release one uh, separate folder has been created this folder will uh, involve setup file so we need to click on that setup file once uh, this download is complete i will show you how to proceed further for the installation So previous version uh, you can uninstall see around 45 seconds are left so geometry import options um, as as we observed on this uh, we can say they are not available i guess uh, geometry okay start up problem site limit geometry no geometry export uh, so this is one thing which is there so we'll just go back to your uh, file how much it's okay around 30 seconds are been left so once that has been completed so an installation is required before we are proceeding and we can use it for one year and additionally if the release 2 is also been there so you can make use of that also so i think this process whole process has completed you can see the setup file which is in there over here setup file is there at the top you have to click on the setup file and then we have to start proceeding for the installation so before that i will just go back to the workbench 2022 version and i will uninstall that version and then I will proceed with the now we can see new, new one so let's say workbench so here click on this option okay so I will go with the uninstall option available click on uninstall okay so if it is not available here you just go to the program files uh, here so go to the program files then ansys ansys student 2020 okay so you can this is the version 2022 
so few days before I install you will be having uninstall option over here so click on uninstall so we are in uninstalling 2022 version before proceeding for 2023 version so it will ask for a few things so go to the next check it what to uninstall so this process might take some time so un uninstallations uh, we may require to restart the system uh, once that uh, the things are been uninstalled uh, preferably we will try to restart the system once uh, that installation uh, uninstallation has been completed ensure that you are not running any file before uh, uninstallation so around 40 seconds are left you can keep with the older version also sometimes because uh, set a file up older version because sometimes if uh, few changes are there in the newer version like uh, mm, like in the earlier version some uh, we can say you need to do some modification in the setup before proceeding so that has observed in uh, 2022 re release 2 version also as well as release 1 version so that was related to the mesh so if that is there so you have to take care of the thing so it is around 30 percent one minute cell will left uh, we'll restart the system before proceeding so each and everything uh, that is the hanging node adoption method was uh, sometime you have to do the set uh, setup in uh, may uh, sorry in setup where you have to put mesh and adapt all this thing you have to specify in the prior release of 2022 uh, release 2 i will have to check what uh, this uh, whether this happens in this in the newer version or not if you are finding error then better way will be prepare geometry in the uh, we can say newer version and then proceed for the simulation so 57 percent has been completed There must have been some uh, different user interface as far as 2023 version has been concerned. But we'll have to check what things are there and what things are different. So some 33 seconds, 30 seconds are left. Twenty-one seconds. The installation also it it takes time around to, uh, ten to twenty minutes. So complete installation it takes around 10 to 20 minutes and installation is around 5 minutes are taken so 4 seconds are left ok I think it's 100% has been completed uh, you can just check out below so it may show you the installation completed message at the last uninstallation complete please review the uh, above information ok so you can click on exit button so now the ANSYS is not been available you can search in the, your search box also like whether the workbench is is there or not so you cannot see any workbench uh, been available over here so what you do is you have to uh, first what I will do is I will try to sorry I will just try to restart the computer and then I will go on to install the process so we have uh, restarted the computer now I will go with the setup file and will proceed with the installation so this is what the file which we have uninstalled uh, sorry uh, extracted so 2023 version so this is a setup file you can click on the setup 
here. Uh, you need to run as an administrator over here. Okay, so you have to click on I agree. So click on next. So what is the disk space required is 48 GB. The disk space is available is 289. So a huge space is required that is 4812. So make it uh, next. So this will uh, be uh, again a uh, time consuming process. It may take some time for the installation. So it's preferable that you must restart your computer because uh, we are installing the new file. So that's why it is important that you should uh, restart your computer before proceeding. So there was problem installing the prerequisite uh, like to retry the installation. Please attempt to install user contact. Okay. Okay, so what I will do is I will exit this and click and run as administrator. So might have made some mistake. So we'll do make it agree and click on next this one. Okay, so I'm going to Microsoft official website to download that. So we'll just check out with Windows setting, uh, check it for sick update if it is available. Okay, so NET 6.0.03, so that is uh, it's been available. Probably the error may not come now. And it is 6.0.13. We have to check. Uh, we cannot assure, but uh, still uh, it has been downloaded. So probably there may not be error which is coming out now. See, uh, let's proceed further. 
Okay, so once it is installed, they will proceed with the installation of ANSYS 2023 release one. System may require restarting. We'll check whether it is required or not. Okay, so it doesn't require. So one more time, just click it to see whether any updates are there. Still, any updates are there or not? And then again, we'll go back to. Okay, so it doesn't show anything now. One more time, make it okay. Go back to this one. Okay, now it has restarted. You might have observed that it was showing error. And suddenly we have checked for Windows update and now uh, the things has started. So this can come out. So if there is some error which is like this, uh, you can just go to the Windows update option and click on update. So estimated time is around five minutes. So 12% is completed. We have to wait till the time it completely install. So around three minutes are left. We have to wait. So always click on Windows Update option the way it has been done because it was showing error earlier. So around one minute is left. Eighty-eight percent has completed. Eighty-six percent has completed. Eighty-seven. So if you have to check uh, for last minute. Uh, it depends on your computer configuration also. How your fast computer is accordingly also the time required will vary. So around 48 seconds are left, 92% is completed, 40 seconds, 30. So almost it is, almost it has been on the verge of completion.
So you can check out your processor uh, utilization has around 47 percent. Okay, see so it is 33, 93 percent taking time. Eleven percent. Okay, we have to wait till the time is not completed. So around 18 percent, uh, sorry, 18 seconds are left. So, okay, so 7 percent. Three per uh, three seconds, two seconds. Okay, it is almost uh, completed. You can see the message installation complete. Please review the above information. Okay, so you can click on exit button once this is done. Okay, now this is the part which we are done. Now it's time to go to the workbench again and just click on whether it is the option available or not. So you can see the workbench 2023 release one option is available. Click on that option. Uh, the ANSYS window will open. And you can see 2023 release two. So it can take some time. Okay, so this uh, new window is open. You can click on yes, I'm willing to participate. Make it okay. Uh, is ANSYS product implement program. I am academic user of ANSYS product. Yeah. So depending on which one you are using, make it like this. So this is the basic workbench window which we are having. You can see the fluid flow fluent option, which was same as the ANSYS 2022 release two. Uh, then uh, we have uh, the component system where the similar options will be available the way it was available in the earlier. There may be few options, new options which are been available. So I'm going to just going to go with the the one which is quite commonly used for CFD simulation that is the fluid flow fluent. I will click on fluid flow fluent and over here. So we'll go with the geometry option just to check. So we have three options available: new discovery as well as space claim and new design modeler. So all of these three options are available with this one. Depends uh, which one you are compatible with. Accordingly, you can proceed with the geometry. So space claim is also there and design modeler is also there. So have you tried ANSYS discovery yet? Okay, I'm not uh, not interested right now. So we'll close this. So click on any one of the plane. You can see ANSYS, the same user interface, not much of the, the variations uh, as of now uh, with this particular case. So I will just try to create one object and then I will proceed with the, the further cylinder I will create. I will try to import the file if it is. Okay, so I will just uh, open this. Nothing is much variation as far as this part has been concerned. So close this uh, one. Uh, I can, you can, I think there is a import Okay, so just check it out if we can use some Okay, I just importing one geometry so that we can proceed with 
uh, how it visualizes over here. We'll see the geometry how it is there, and then we'll subsequently go back to uh, mesh option and other. So you can see this is geometry is coming as it is, no much uh, variations. So close this uh, this part. Uh, next, I will open the mesh option. I just want to confirm whether it is all our okay, all is a fluid zone, so not an issue. Uh, let's open the mesh. Uh, go to the edit option available. We'll check uh, whether the user interface is different for 2023 release two, release one, or it has the same thing. We'll have to check. Okay, so not much variation as far as the user interface is concerned for your mesh. So it is quite uh, similar to the earlier one. I just okay. So I think this uh, this thing which has uh, which has a different user interface in the earlier version. So that may be one of the variation which we can see. Uh, just uh, specify this particular zone. Let us say as a evaporator, and when proceed with uh, the setup part because unless and until we go okay so this one then I will select this one and we'll make it this as a condenser okay so this is made as a condenser I will get it to make it update the fluent translation to mesh is successful this was similar kind of thing which we observed uh, statistics also you can check out here I will close this option because uh, quite looking same, mm, not much of variation. So where I told you the, at the start where the number of HPC parallel connections which we have specified. So it can be specified say four. Uh, slightly different user interface which we can see and make it uh, start. I selected four processes. If uh, the student version supports that many number of processes, uh, it will be visible over there or otherwise the window will show the error option that number of uh, HPC licenses are not available, so these options can be visible uh, here. Uh, if such matches doesn't appear, it means you can continue with whatever the the we can say process which we are following. So I think as of now there is no such uh, error which is came out right now. Uh, again, the quite similar kind of user interface you can see here. Similar kind of user interface over there. Uh, you can have this one. So if you enter all such value, then probably you can um, think of it. And just check this one, the thing which I was telling. So you can, uh, I have 20 cores available, but out of which the student version may support only four. So that's why the fours are been, I have specified at the start. Uh, you may specify uh, if you are having the enterprise edition, you can specify with more number of uh, cores also. So this is how this, the things are quite same, uh, not much variation as far as the uh, setup part has been concerned. Uh, user interface also looks the quite similar. So this is all about the ANSYS Workbench uh, 2023 release one. Uh, let me know if uh, it works for you. If uh, you get such error the way which I got uh, regarding to the NET, so you can uh, click on the update option and accordingly you can install. So let's stop it here. I will try to show you one more thing which is uh, maybe important because I uh, I know the length of the video is going high. I uh, just want to open one file which has been already here. Uh, so uh, which we have prepared earlier. So that I am going to open. So let's take the one which we have done. Okay, so I will open one file. So ends this work. Okay, so this file I will open because uh, we already prepared this with the help of ANSYS 2022 release one. Now, how, whether it opens in 2023 or not, so that just uh, for your understanding because I want to visualize all the things like uh, setup and processor, how they are uh, going to proceed so that I just want to visualize and that's why uh, I'm opening the last option that is the post processor. Uh, we are seen up to setup in the previous, uh, we can say, case. I will just open the result option and just check it out whether the user interface is different or not 
are is it having the same similar kind of user interface so it looks to be a similar user interface which is been available uh, i will just check out with the resolution of video which we can save whether some additional options are been available or not but looks like the same uh, the way it has been earlier so taking some time to load because of the file okay so this is one of the example uh, okay so we can check so this is already a setup file which uh, we have done with ansys 2022 to release one so i will just check what uh, any changes in the options available here or not okay so i think this uh, the similar things have been available not much of the variations uh, not here also with the frame rates also again the same so not much changes as far as uh, this part has been concerned uh, I will just close this because it's quite similar to the earlier one. If you want, you can open the setup also and just check it out. Uh, because the prob uh, here the problem was occurred because of the core number for this setup file. So the setup file may not run for uh, iterations. So we'll just check whether it uh, it is showing any different user interface or not. takes time for load uh, just okay so you may click on this and just check whether any variations are there there this may not run because of the floating point exception error but let's check if it goes yeah so again the process is, is quite similar not much variation uh, in uh, the visualization also you can see uh, quite similar things are there so much uh, variations are not there so quite similar to the earlier one thank you